Hey folks, welcome to my video. I've been on a, a bit of a journey uh, trying to learn a, a new technique. Uh, I do creative things in my, my off time to uh, as kind of a stress management thing. So it's, it's frustrating to me uh, learning a new technique many times because uh, the learning process can be stressful in itself. Uh, once I have the technique down and I'm get, getting the kind of results I want, then it starts becoming more relaxing again for me. So I, I haven't shared any videos up to this point because I've been going through that, that frustrating early stages. And these are my early works. So the videos I've been watching uh, have been showing uh, a result that just has a beautiful flow of paint uh, with very well-defined cells, cells that have these, these nice strong borders and whatnot. But as you can see, the results that I was getting are a little bit different. Uh, there's just not that, that beautiful flow of the colors. Uh, there's not the well-defined cells. This was my second one. And while I'm getting a little bit better result here, I like the way it's wrapping. I like, you know, the, the flow of the paint is a little bit better there. So I changed the, uh, the thickness of the paint that I was using a little bit. Uh, so that, that helped a little bit with this second one. But still just not getting those well-defined cells with any degree of, of consistency. I'm getting some cells, but and this was my, my, my third one. And same thing, it just just didn't have that, that beautiful flow that I was seeing uh, in the videos that I was watching. So I was starting to get very frustrated. I'm thinking, well, maybe people are intentionally leaving out a step, something critical in order to give me a greater appreciation for for the beauty that they create. And I, it, it worked if that's what the goal was because tremendous respect. And and even now, uh, I, I had a breakthrough. So these are my early works. I'm not real satisfied with them. So I'm making this video now because uh, I finally did have a breakthrough. I have it over at my other workstation here. So this is my latest one. And as you can see, there's, there's what I call a well-defined cell. Look at that border. With the orange and the blue and the red. Wow. Really happy with that. And there's some great effects here too. Not only with the pour going over the edge. You know, and the way the colors blend. Apologize for the glare. Uh, I liked it so much that I, I put some resin on it. To kind of finalize it a little bit. But look at those effects. That's much closer to what I was seeing on the videos. And I'm much happier. It kind of looks like a face a little bit, doesn't it? The guy with his mouth open, maybe a pair of goggles on. I, I like artworks. Uh, that kind of looks like a skull a little bit. Hmm. Anyway, I like artworks that uh, you see something different every time that you look at it. So to be able to create something like that has, has always been one of my goals. It's very satisfying when, when I have something that I'm happy with. And this I'm pretty happy with. I think that it's the beginning uh, of where where this can go for me now that I've learned the secret. So what is the secret? What what did I do differently to finally start seeing these cells and and, and create the kind of flow and whatnot that, uh, that that I'm seeing here that I'm much more happy with? Uh, the secret for me is a swipe. So I'm watching a video and I can't remember whose video it was. My apologies. But um, they had done their pour, uh, made a puddle. So, so that's what the technique basically is. You layer colors of paint in a cup. You pour those colors out onto a canvas. And each color, when you mix the color, you add a little cell activator, which is like a silicon with um, like a silicon oil. A couple drops of that that you kind of mix in lightly in, into the color. And then when you pour it out onto the canvas, the... Uh, the colors mix with each other as you tilt the canvas and, and the, the puddle slides around on the surface, mixing the colors and creating the cells and the effects. So, I mean, that's the basic technique. But I watched one video where they poured their puddle onto the canvas and then they poured another color with no kind of silicone or cell activator or anything uh, on the edge of their pour. And then they, they used a, uh, a little piece of plastic, uh, like cellophane, uh, and and wiped that color into the poured puddle of of, uh, of layered paint, and then that's when the cells appeared. So I, I said, all right, I'll give that a try, and this is the result. 
So pretty happy with it. And if you're stuck and you're feeling frustrated and you're not getting the results that you're seeing in the videos that you're watching, um, maybe that, that the thing that got me unstuck will, will be helpful to you as well. So good luck to you. Happy creating. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please be sure to subscribe, like, comment. Um, I try to get back to people as best I can. Again, I'm not a professional artist or anything. This is a hobby for me, but I'm pretty happy with this result. Okay, thank you and happy creating.